The Forza Horizon 5 Series 38 update is called Hidden Horizons and features four new to Forza cars in the festival playlist, a new hide-and-seek game mode, as well as uh, a few other things. So let's get started with the new cars in the festival playlist. This series in the festival playlist, neither of the overall prizes are actually new. For 80 points, there is another chance to win the Nissan Suru, and for 160 points, another chance to win the Nissan Safari. In the summer season, which begins on Thursday the 12th of September, for 20 points you can win the Mitsubishi Evo 3, which comes over from Forza Motorsport, where it was recently added, as a lot of people expected it would, I think. And for 40 points, there is another chance to win the Hot Wheels Mustang. The Evo, of course, also comes with all of the cool Rally Aero upgrades that were available for it over in Forza Motorsport, and they make a lot more sense in a Horizon game where you can, well, go rallying, essentially. In the autumn season, which begins on Thursday the 19th of September, for 20 points, you can win the brand new Forza 2022 Subaru WRX, and for 40 points, there is another chance to win the Sierra 700R Buggy, which, because not that many people won it the first time it was available, is actually currently one of the rarest vehicles in the game. The Subaru WRX also has some visual upgrades um, over in the upgrade shop. In the winter season, which begins on Thursday the 26th of September, for 20 points, you can win the brand new to Forza Toyota Chaser, and for 40 points, there is another chance to win the Hot Wheels 2 Jet Z. And just like the Evo and the Subaru, the Toyota Chaser also has some visual upgrades in the upgrade shop. And finally, in the spring season, which begins on Thursday the 3rd of October, for 20 points, you can win the brand new to Forza and absolutely brilliant Volvo C30 Polestar. Can't wait for that one. And for 40 points, there is another chance to win the Abarth 695. I am also happy to say that there is no paid car pack this month, um, but that does mean that these are all of the new cars coming in Series 38. Oh, there is also a Jordan Edition Camaro, but it doesn't seem to have anything to do with the Jordan Formula 1 team, so I'm not quite sure why they've added that, but it's kind of neither here nor there compared to the cars in the playlist. One of the main features of Series 38, though, is the brand new Hide and Seek game mode, which was actually revealed at Gamescom uh, the other week. It does kind of look fun, but I'm not really sure it was entirely necessary. We can already play Hide and Seek ourselves without having a game mode, and I'm sure a lot of you already have. It is, though, a bit more complicated than just being Hide and Seek. Um, there is one hider and five seekers, with the hider having four minutes to try and blend in, or at least remain hidden, from the Seekers, which is kind of hide-and-seek. Um, the Seekers will have a radar showing how close they are to the hider, and there will be a bar that fills up if you are close to them, um, which if it does fill up, the Seekers win the round. It will fill faster if more of the five Seekers are in close proximity to the person hiding. The hider can also deploy a chase breaker, which will put them into ghost mode and allow them to escape if they're cornered, for example. Um, these, um, that power up though, it will only, it'll have a certain time till you can use it again once you use it. Similarly, the seekers can ping a location if they are near to the hider to show the other seekers the location of the hiding vehicle. Again, this will have a timer kind of thing, so you can't just continuously use these power ups. All of the hider cars are also traffic vehicles, so if you want to, you can try and blend in and pretend to be an AI, which is one of the things that was always difficult in free roam, because a pop-up thing would pop up. So yeah, that will be more possible within this game mode. There will also be several different zones scattered around the main map for hide and seek, so it won't always take place in exactly the same area, but you will be restricted to which part of the map you can go to. This game mode, of course, comes with all of the usual new accolades and some new badges, including, apparently, a pigeon. As part of the evolving world, the stadium has been filled with a maze um, as part of the hide-and-seek theme, which I have to say does look pretty cool from what I've seen so far. You can find the way to the center and then take a ramp out again um, so that you don't have to find your way out again, um, but it does look pretty fun. As with all the evolving world though, I am kind of sad that it'll only be there for four weeks, and also that so far none of the components in here seem to be available as Event Lab props. Uh, I'm just hoping that is added um, to the range of Event Lab props we have in the next series. 
There is also a new tank collectible with a detective outfit this time. There is a hide and seek camo race suit, which is the prize for the summer photo challenge. And as usual, we got a, a bit of a teaser of what series 39 is going to be. It's going to be called Back to the 90s, which sounds like it will be incredible. It will feature new badges, new clothing, new cars, and a new collectible. So the update is kind of not out of the ordinary, but I really look forward to seeing what new 90s cars are going to be added to Horizon 5. And that is everything coming in Series 38 with the theme of Hidden Horizons here in Forza Horizon 5. There are four new cars in the playlist, most of which have some customization options. There's no paid content and there is a new game mode. There's nothing in there that I'm properly, properly excited for, but all of it seems like pretty decent new content, so I'm not complaining either. It's a pretty good update. As ever, do let me know your thoughts on Series 38 and your predictions for the next one for Series 39. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next one very soon. Mm -hmm.